I think most people would be shocked at how little online privacy people have, when you realize that every single website you visit, every email you send and every forum you hang out on is logged and recorded for years it can make you feel quite uncomfortable. Sure you can log on to your favorite website or online forum and search for their privacy policy. You'll find lots of legal talk mainly designed to cover their backs as they record and monitor your favorite web pages. Upload cookies to your machine and target your email with carefully selected special offers. The new wave of internet browsers are helping. Feature like Chrome's incognito mode are blocking cookies and pop-ups, and stopping personal information being logged on your machine. But that was always the easiest privacy problem to solve. The most difficult part on protecting your online privacy is a simple little language or protocol called HTTP. You see HTTP is how your web browser communicates with the websites you visit. It's very simple, very efficient and very fast. But unfortunately it is also incompletely clear text and is visible by everyone. Thanks to the hypertext transport protocol. Practically everything we do online has no privacy as it is, is in clear text. Absolutely everything we do online is stored at our ISP. Any personal information we send is logged here, and in many other places on its clear text HTTP journey. Of course our service providers are not interested in all this information. There's simply too much of it and it is expensive to store. This is the reason that the ISPs are being directed by various bills and laws in countries across the world to keep this information. The usual excuse for invading people's privacy and accessing their personal information is to catch baddies and track terrorists online. This is of course a perfectly good argument but I do wonder, is the slim chance of catching the on online crook worth sacrificing everyone's online privacy? Well much as I wish to see more criminals and terrorists caught I still want to protect my privacy online. To see which software I use which offers a full encryption, private proxies and total privacy check out the links below. Learn more about how to stay secure online at my blog www.anonymousproxies.org